Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're getting our first impressions of the brand new album from Devil Driver titled Dealing With Demons 1. Alright, Devil Driver dropping another album. These guys have several albums. They've been around for a while. Uh, we react to two or three music videos of theirs. I think they kind of got blocked. Sometimes YouTube blocks our videos, or maybe it's the record label. We're not quite sure. So maybe you guys saw them, maybe it didn't. Um, but they were kind of hit and miss. They, they were hit and miss. The I first, remember the first one we just did not like at all. I think the name was like Black Rose or something like that, or Blackened Rose. The, the biggest part of why we didn't like it is because the lyrics just kept showing up on the screen. It yeah, <laughs> was they're pissing blocking off. the actual video. And the visual. lyrics, from what I recall, we didn't even like. Yeah, they're bad. But then they did like another song that we thought was a really big improvement. Yes. So it's like, it's totally hit and miss, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, actually the third one we didn't react to, but we listened to it like a week ago. Oh, right. And it had clean the vocals. Clean vocals from Dez, which was very unique for me. Now, somebody in the comments did mention that he's done clean vocals before with Cold Chamber. And I don't recall that. I listened to a bit of Cold Chamber back in the day in like the mid 90s ish, but I was a poor kid back then. I didn't really have money to buy album so I only kind of knew their their main staple songs so I never knew he did any clean vocals so if that's true that's interesting but as far as I know um, when it comes to Devil Driver I'm pretty sure I know all of Devil Driver's content other than the country album they did because I'm pretty sure they did like a country cover album um, I don't recall any clean vocals so when I heard it I was completely thrown off but I liked it I was like this is different but I think I like this so with that said, I'm kind of have I have like the bar set medium level for me here because I've liked Devil Driver for a long time, but the songs we've heard so far have kind of been a hit and a miss. So I'm kind of just going in with an open mind and I hope I really like this first impression. Yeah, I'm a lot more of a clean slate than you are. I've never really checked this band out that much. I've seen them live once and it was a great show, but I've never really checked out their albums. But based on what I've heard, it's like a medium level bar. Like, well, I've heard a song that I don't like and a song that I do like and a song that's, I guess, pretty nice. So, yeah. you know, I don't really have many expectations going into it. Yeah, so we'll go listen to it for the first time in its entirety and we'll be back to tell you guys what we think. And we're back. We just listened to Dealing With Demons, volume one or one, whatever they want to say it. Um, yeah, so I'll just uh, hold the floor here and say that I really actually like this first impression. I thought it was this album was pretty solid on a first listen. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a, I'm a Devil Driver fan, but their discography has kind of peaked and valued for me over the years. They have some stronger albums, some weaker albums, some stronger songs, some weaker songs. This one I feel like kind of felt kind of in the middle, but more on the stronger side. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm going to talk about my least favorite song and my most favorite song so far. Um, I think we can, you know, elaborate on that after that. So least favorite song was track number seven, Witches. Don't exactly know why I didn't like this song, but I didn't have anything to write about it. It kind of just happened and it was there and I was like, oh, that was just like, man, eh, what the hell, huh? It's funny how I felt the exact same way about that song. There okay. was just really nothing notable about it, especially when a few other songs on this album did have notable things about them. Right. Now this isn't my best song, this is actually my second lowest rated song and that was Scars Me Forever, the last track. And I'm only mentioning that because I also didn't have much to say about that song. But I did just enjoy it more than Witches. So I kind of give it a slightly higher score. The vibe of that one was better. The vibe was better. I felt like as an outro track it was good so it got a little bit of a bonus point for that. Um, another song that I, that I rated kind of low was uh, You Give Me a Reason to Drink which was featuring Dez's son, Simon. Um, I thought this song was also kind of just bleh. Simon added a cool vocal dynamic to the song, but he sounds a lot like his dad, just with I, kind of a deeper I growl. I honestly did not notice a difference in vocals. Like, I it just kind of sounded like one thing to me. It, it, you're, not, you're not wrong. They sound very similar, but you could tell, at least I think, I'm assuming, I guess, because I can't see them singing, but I thought I could tell when Simon was doing the lower tone growls, compared to Dez, whose growls aren't quite as low. I could be wrong, but that seemed to be the only difference I really could pick out. But that song as a whole was not that great. Let me just talk about my favorite song, and I'll pass the floor over. Favorite song on the album is track number five, Wishing. This is the song where they released a video that we didn't react to where there's the clean vocals. This is a great song, for a multitude of reasons. Um, for one, it's 
It's geniusly placed on the album. It's the only song with the clean vocals on the album, and it's right dab smack nab in the middle of the album. I thought that was a great placement. It definitely breaks up the album. It breaks up the first half and the second half and gives you this kind of like almost like a rest period without being a ballad kind of idea. Um, I got Iron Maiden vibes from this song. Uh, mainly the intro, but I mean, that to me is plus plus plus. Everybody loves Iron Maiden. And I remember making that comment when I watched the first, when I watched the video for the first time as well. The clean vocals, I like them. I really like them, but they sound very processed. They sound very processed to me, and I'm trying to picture those words, that voice coming out of Dez's mouth, and I can't. So I really need to see this song perform live. I really need to see how he actually sings um, without the help of post-editing, right? And I know even during a live performance, you can have effects on the voice, you can add, have all sorts of things going on. But it's on. not the same as what goes through a it's studio. Not the same, exactly. So um, that is something I, I would like to hear you know, in the future at some point. This song also has a very nice solo. It actually has two solos. It has, a, has one solo, then there's a, a maybe a, another chorus or something. I can't remember exactly, but then there's another solo afterward. Both solos, very nice. And actually there was a few decent solos throughout this album, I must say. Yeah, this album overall had like a lot of solos on it and some, like overall, they were at a good standard, but some were better than others. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for me. I guess, what was, what was your highlight tracks and... and um, well, if I were to talk about the lowlights, it's actually the same as you. Witches and You Give Me a Reason to Drink, I just kind of whatevered on, didn't really notice anything super special. You Give Me a Reason to Drink had a cool evil sounding riff, but that was really it. Um, I kind of liked Scars Me Forever, uh, but the only issue I had with it is kind of a bit of an issue I had with an album is that it kind of feels like the same thing happening over and over. It's like we're just yeah. jamming on this one riff and that's kind of it. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of depends on whether the riff is good or not. If it's a good riff, okay, it makes the song a little better. But if it's not as great, then it's like, okay, what's going on? Yeah, like, as, good song, but what do you write? As weird as it was, some of the vibes on this album, like some of the groups, and the, especially the guitar sound, were reminding me of Gojira. A lot of the guitar sound, a few of the guitar techniques, and rhythmic techniques, and but the main difference is Des Fafara's voice is super different than what you hear from Gojira, but I don't know. I, I kind of got that vibe and I was liking that because I love Gojira. Um, I think I made a note of that only on the first and last track, as odd as that may seem. Hmm. But um, I kind of had like, yeah, almost the exact same notes for those two songs, where it's like kind of one line over and over, but the like sonically, it kind of reminds me of Gojira. Hmm. Now, as for what I liked, Wishing was great. You said a lot of how I feel about that song, Awesome song, a lot of cool different sounds on it. Uh, cool solo, just overall really strong song and unique, especially because it has the clean vocals. Yeah. I also really like the title track. Now, a lot of this album to me was just like kind of just good. Like I like it, but it's not really, it's not really sparking for me. But that song had it. That song to me just stood out and was great. It was a great rip. A lot of cool small drum motifs kind of sprinkled in there. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. The solo started like not bad, but as it went, it got a lot better and better as it went on. So yeah. like overall, the album was good. I, it was straight up, it was fine. But then there were some standout moments. Yeah, dealing with Demons, the, the title track for me, didn't stand out too much. I did think it was okay. But another song that did actually stand out for me was the song that came right after that, The Damn Don't Cry because this is one of the most syncopated songs I've yeah. ever heard Devil Driver do. They were switching time signatures left, right, and center. Um, and I can't recall Devil Driver really doing it, at least to that extent, that much. And that was kind of refreshing as well to hear something that kind of technically sound come out of Devil Driver. Now these guys are all talented musicians. They got an amazing drummer. Des is a great vocalist, like all around, they're, they're really good. Um, but another cool thing about this song that I really liked was the different um, tonal styles of the guitars. It sounded like there was three guitars at one point and the way they were layered with the different tones and one of them's kind of droned out in the background, which is something that kind of happened a lot in this album too, which really had a lot of ambience and atmosphere. But the fact that the guitars were, were just so tonally different and they married so well together, I thought and that song specifically was very well done. And the fact that it was completely syncopated with a lot of different time signatures, There's, you know, they were parts in four and five and six. I heard and seven in there for sure. In seven, yeah, like it's just, it was it was all over the place. 
So, but not in like a messy, messy way. It still sounded coherent, mm -hmm. which is also a double thumbs up testament to their uh, musical prowess. So that song definitely stood out amongst the rest as well, as well, um, I would say. Yeah, that song is actually another one of my higher rated songs because it sounded unique and it was like, wow, this is some really cool syncopation going on. Um, and the solo was also pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know what? I think uh, it's gonna be an interesting week because uh, I think we both pretty much like this album on our first impressions, but there were some songs that felt like duds. Yeah. I'd say. But there was other songs that actually sounded pretty damn good. So we're gonna listen to it for the entire week and see if those pretty damn good songs stay pretty damn good and if those duds get better or if it goes the opposite way, we don't know. We're gonna listen to it as much as we can. That's it for this video, guys. So like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Make sure you guys are coming back each and every day to vote in our best metal band in the world tournament. That's it for this video. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. We'll see you guys on the next one. Keep those heads banging.